My name is Celia Lau. I'm an Associate Professor of Anthropology and International Studies at the University of Washington, and I'm a Rachel Carson Fellow. At the Rachel Carson Center, I've been studying H5N1 avian influenza and the outbreak in Indonesia in the 2000s. We can't think of the virus as entirely a natural phenomenon because it wouldn't have existed without the conditions of confined animal feeding operations or industrial poultry production. Um, but nor do we want to think of it as something that's entirely created by humans. Um, there, there was a kind of raw material there, a, a virus, influenza viruses that are much older than uh, these new strains that are highly pathogenic. Um, that was the material that went into the industrial agricultural system and really um, got transformed and uh, where the, the, the deadliness of the virus got amplified. Some people might not consider viruses part of an environment or wonder why somebody looking at a virus is involved in an, in an environmental studies center like the Rachel Carson Center. Um, but I do think that we need to expand our concept of environment in several ways, um, especially when we're thinking about uh, the Anthropocene. My work really shows that um, you can broaden the kinds of transformations that you think about when you think about humans affecting uh, nature, because uh, H5N1, highly pathogenic uh, H5N1, is a virus of our own making. It's really something that we have produced, um, uh, we produced a new species. Uh, and so I think that does transform how we think about uh, the human impact on the environment. One approach I've taken to my work is called multi-species studies or multi-species ethnography. In multi-species ethnography, you expand who counts as an actor or an agent um, to other animals and other creatures, um, and even to the virus in this case, to see what the situation looks like from the perspective of all of these um, broader range of actors in a given context. So I've had to look at what, um, what the outbreak has meant for the virus, um, how the virus uh, affected things and caused things to change in new and different ways. I've had to look at the lives of chickens to see how chickens have been affected in a particularly unpleasant way as they've both died through uh, culling and disease but also suffered through the basic conditions of industrial agriculture. And you really do get a different kind of um, non-human centered understanding of the environment or of uh, social worlds um, by extending your analysis and your interest and your compassion um, out beyond the human to other creatures that inhabit this world with us.